hey guys welcome back to Zambrin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create custom fonts inside our Zambrin forms application here you can see a list of fonts that are delivered by fontsquirrel.com you can download it and the extension might be .ttf or otf so it doesn't really matters now we are going to create a brand new Xamarin forms application and implement this custom font so let's give our application name as font app now i'll drag and drop this font inside our resources folder of ios and then assets folder of android so we have to go to assets folder here we are not going to place inside resources folder of android that's all now if you are on windows system right click on info.plist then you can see xml editor in visual studio for windows but in visual studio for mac we have to reveal it in finder for now and then open with others then we have to go down with text editor and it's same as like xml editor then then we are going to paste this code and this string should contain our font name this is our font name and that should be included inside those string tags so I'm going to paste it that's all now I'm going to save it with Control plus S it's already saved and that's all for our iOS part and our application is not giving any sorts of error if some error was there then we couldn't have seen that iOS project built let's check it and verify whether it gives us correct output or not okay there was no error inside our Xamarin Forms iOS project let's configure for Xamarin Forms Android project before that let's design our UI inside our main page.xaml its level dot font family will get the required font from our given file let's close that level dot font family then on Android and iOS the naming convention are different so we'll rename that file name and then paste it okay we got our as expected output for our iOS let's increment the font size to 30 that's all so let's give background color as azure blue then text color will be white so we have already configured for Xamarin Forms iOS project and now our next task is to configure for Android project so concluded with hashtag and then the first name should be taken that's all let's set Android project as our starting project okay we got our as expected output for Android and then for iOS let's set iOS project as our starting project okay we got our as expected output that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials